Okay, welcome. Uh, we're in Woodworking 9. We're just adding some accessories onto our treasure chest. So I want to show you how to make some kind of fancy handles instead of the leather handles to go on the side of the box. Um, and I'm going to use the lathe to do that. So, um, you need a piece about six inches long, or six inches long would work good. It's a little longer than uh, this side here. And my finished handle is going to be um, about three or four inches long just here. So, I'll start with my three inch piece. And then what I need to do is mark the middle of both sides of it. It's a square that is about six inches long. So that's what we'll start with. Mine is oak, but any hardwood will work. I make an X to mark the middle from corner to corner. And on the other side, I'm going to go to the bandsaw and mark a T in the middle. And then I'm just going to cut some little grooves. Just the height of my guy. And I just want to go about a sixteenth inch of a sixteenth of an inch deep into these grooves. Okay, so I have the middle marked on this side. I have a T cut into this side. Now I'm going to go to the lathe. Okay, so. Uh, here we are at the lathe, um, and I have a drive center on this side, and I'm going to mount my piece so that these line up with the grooves I've cut. I'm going to bring in my tail stock to hold this end right into the middle I've marked there. Lock it in place, and I'm going to drive it in just till it holds it nicely. Locking in place. So I have it um, lined up here, supported here. Now I'm going to get my rest in place, and this rest is a little sticky, but I want to get as close as I can without touching the wood. And then once I adjust my rest, I always spin the wood to make sure it's not going to hit the rest. So I'm ready to uh, turn this on the lathe. Okay. So, anytime we're on the lathe, we wear a face shield, because if this piece of wood flew off, which it can very easily, um, and it hit us in the face, we'd want this on. Has a little adjustment here, tighten it, it go down and up. Um, there's three main tools we use. A gouge is like a little bit of a scoopy tool, and I'm going to use that to make it round. Once I have it round, I'm going to switch to a skew, which is kind of an angled straight blade. And that's what I'll do most of my work with. And then sometimes I'll use this round nose scraper to just get it nice and smooth. So, first goal is to get this piece nice and round. Okay, so in terms of holding the tool, basically I don't want the tool to be bouncing around. I want it supported against my torso. And I put my finger right up against the rest and then I just micro adjust with my thumb. I really need to move the tool very, very slightly. I just want to take off little tiny uh, bits of wood. Um, and it's a very smooth motion. It shouldn't be bouncing around. We want a nice smooth cut. Um, and, but you do have a bit of creative freedom on the lathe, so it's a little, uh, you have a bit more freedom than uh, say on your box or other, other things. So, here we go. So I've got my piece nice and round, um, and now I need to decide what the profile of my uh, handle is going to look like. It can go kind of out and in and out, or it can just be rounded. So you kind of decide what it's going to look like, and it might be hard to envision when you first start. Um, so see Mr. Johns if you want to talk about it. But now I'm going to switch to my skew and have some more fun on the lathe making my handle.
Once you get it to basically the shape that you're going to use, um, we're going to be cutting it in half, but first we're going to sand it and then we'll cut it off the lathe. So I'll get some sandpaper. Okay, so I'm going to sand it with 80 grit and then 220 grit and then I'll take it, uh, cut it off and take it to the bandsaw. So the last tool to use is this white handle tool called a parting tool and this is going to help me separate it off the lid. So I cut it so it's just about separated from the uh, main piece but I'm going to take it off now and just use a hacksaw to finish cutting it. And the very uh, near the last step is we're going to cut it in half and Mr. Johns or myself will do this for you because it's a little bit tricky, but this is how it's done. And now we'll do a little bit more sanding on these handles, but basically we have two fancy handles to attach the side of our lovely treasure chest. Um, I generally attach them after I've stained my box and then I leave these wood colored and that's a really nice contrast uh, for the finish.